Welcome back to another video. Today, we're gonna talk about the Mountain Dream TV mount. This is a Tilton TV mount that I use to mount TVs. Now, I wanna talk about this mount in particular because it comes with a little bit of extras and it is one of the easiest mounts to mount a TV that I found for a reasonable price. So what I'm gonna do is, I'm actually gonna show you what's in the box and I'm gonna leave an Amazon link to where you can find this actual mount and I'm gonna show you how it looks after you mount it. So it is rated to mount up to a 70 inch TV. But with the slimness of TV these days, you know, I'm pretty sure it can hold a TV, you know, bigger than that because of the weight. The TVs weigh a lot less, but that would be up to you to decide if you wanted to use this mount on a bigger TV other than the recommended 70 inch. But According to the recommendations, this can hold up to a 70 inch TV. So of course, as always with product, you get the literature inside and here right on top, these are actually the mountain brackets that goes on the back of the TV, okay? So real simple, you got another kind of, you know, little instruction card there, give you some instructions and videos and how it will look there, that's awesome, all right? Some little straps, you know, to hold the TV in place, you know, to keep it from tilting and stuff like that. You know, you can find all kinds of sorts of stuff to use that for. It also comes with a level to, you know, make sure the TV is nice and straight. An HDMI cable, right, which is pretty neat. And it comes with multiple different bolt sizes depend on your situation or your scenario. All right, so they give you multiple different little rubber rubber studs here, depending on how far or close you want the bracket to the TV mount. The tools that you need, which this is not all the tools you need. You would either need a drill and also two, I recommend you having like a socket set. So a drill and a socket set, because sometimes with these studs, you see, with the studs, you may want to get a socket set once you drill it in the wall. If it's if you find it kind of tough to go in, just get a nice little socket set on there and you can ratchet it into the stud on the wall. So I do recommend that. And I'm gonna show you all the necessary tools you need to get this mounted. And also this is the brackets. So there you go, very simple. That's all that comes in the box is the brackets for the TV, the brackets for the wall, all the necessary screws and bolts to mount the bracket to the wall, and that's pretty much it. So let's get this mounted. For this demonstration, as you can see, this is actually the garage, and we're gonna mount the TV here. I already have, you know, this script here where we're gonna use to hide the cables, because it's gonna actually plug in right down here, but we're gonna put the mount right here. So I'm gonna use the garage as a demonstration to show you guys how to actually mount this particular bracket. And as I said before, this bracket can be found with the link down in the description below purchased on Amazon um, for around 27 bucks, 25 bucks, something like that. So it's a good mount, very inexpensive, and it can hold up to a 70 inch TV per the recommendation. So first what we wanna do is take a look at the first initial step that I'm gonna use to mount this particular bracket. You do need a stud finder. So I picked this up from Walmart. Um, you can find them from all different prices, but I believe this particular one was 10 bucks. And what we're gonna do with this is we're gonna use it to find the stud in the wall because when you go to mount the bracket on the wall, you're actually gonna to want to put the bolts inside of a stud. And I'm gonna show you, if you're not familiar, a lot of people are familiar with how to find studs you know, if you mounted something before, but if not, we're gonna show you how you're gonna actually use this to detect where a stud is in the wall and you wanna mark that area, right? So you want to use this to make sure you put the bolt in a stud in the wall. You don't want to just bolt the mount to just sheetrock. So let's take a look how we're gonna do that. Here on the wall, as, we, as you can see, we're gonna take the stud finder, right? And we're gonna push the button here and we're just gonna slide it. And that red light indicates that it's a stud here. The stud runs from top to bottom in this direction. So we wanna mark this area 
as a stud, but we want to make sure we line the bracket up here so that we can put the boat in the area that a stud is on so that we're not mounting the boats in just pure sheetrock to where we want the boat to go inside of a stud in the wall. That's what give the mount its security and stabilization. For the next part, it is self-explanatory, but I'm gonna point out this first part. Now, the bracket, you do have to assemble it, right? So as you can see here, we're going to assemble the bracket right here with the bolts, and it gives the numbers. So self-explanatory, these bolts for the bracket can be found on number four in the bolts that was provided for you. So as you can see, we have Number four, number four, those are the bolts to assemble the actual bracket. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna assemble the bracket and then we're gonna mount it in this area on the wall and we're gonna do that right now. the next step once we have assembled our bracket as you can see we have it assembled what you're going to use is this bolt which can be found in number one in slot one you can find that and you're also going to need a drill now what you could do is once you find your stud you can use the bolt with a phillips head screwdriver to drill this directly into the wall but if you have one of these which is just like a um, a hole starter right you know this is a bit a drill bit that drills holes. If you have one of these, you can use this to help get the boat started, which will make it a little bit easier for the boat to go in. But if not, don't worry. You can use just the boat to get it started and drill it into the wall. And if for some reason, your drill isn't powerful enough to get the whole boat inside of the stud, you can put a socket wrench on it to help get it all the way down into the wall, okay? So let's try that. All right, so let's get started with that. Some people like to use a pencil or you can just do a little indention in the wall or something like that just to mark it. But what we're gonna do now is we're gonna actual, actually find the stud using the stud finder here. So I'm gonna mark that area. All right, we need two actually. We wanna get this kinda in the middle. So I could put a stud, I could put the bolt here that would be a stud, but you want to get it kind of even as possible. So I kind of like want my studs to be, you know, from like right here and right here. And then of course, when you find a stud, it runs up and down. So you can put one here and one here, and that will get you your stabilization, right? So here we're gonna kind of slide over. It's a stud there. I can mount this right here. I could put a bolt here and a bolt here, and that would be pretty stable. And that's the stud there. So boom, we have one, two places there. All right, it's a stud there. As you can see, all of them are about this far apart from each other. All the studs are about that far apart from each other. So once I've indicated where my studs are at, I can kind of position where I want my mount to be. So I can put it here and here, right? That can be where I can mount it at and what should I think I'm going to do. So I'm going to put the TV about right there. You got to be mindful too when you're mounting the TV on the wall. It does matter where you put this bracket at because that's going to determine how high the TV be from the ceiling. So what I use to do that is of course a measuring tape. So you have to measure the height of the TV to the point to where the bracket mounts. So in this case, you know, you measure the TV and I want the bracket to be about 16 inches from the top. That's gonna be pretty high, but I believe if you put the bracket from the ceiling, if you have a nine foot ceiling, if you put the bracket at about two feet from the ceiling, then you should be okay. But it all depends on where you want it to be. So me personally, I want the top of the bracket to be about 17 because I like to mount it 
you know, kind of up. So I want the top of my bracket to be 17. So that means I want to put the bracket to start about right there. All right. So now I have my two mark points. So I'm going to put the bracket right here on those mount points. So that means I will be using this hole and this hole to mount. So once I do that, I'm going to put one bolt to get the bracket stable, and then I would level that. So let's do that. By using this, you can be for certain it's a stud because it will give you a little resistance. So now, by drilling that hole, it's gonna make my boat go in a lot easier. So once I get my hole that I wanna put this in, right, which is that one, I'm gonna put the boat in the hole here. So once you get that one holding it up, you wanna put the level on top, get it to where the mount is actually level, and then once it's level, you want to make a mark on where you want to drill your next bolt. Now, once I get the bracket supporting itself up on the wall, I can now drill both of them in to give it some security. You see how it's resisting a little bit there? Now, this is the point to where I said that your ratchet will come into play. Now, if you don't have a high power drill, you might not be able to get this in the wall. So this is where I'm gonna take a ratchet and just ratchet this into the stud. This is for sure how you know that it's a stud because if, if it gives that much resistance, it's definitely a stud and your drill may not be powerful or you may not be strong enough to push it all the way inside the wall. So to make it easier, you can take a ratchet like so. So I'm just gonna repeat this for the bottom two holes and then we'll move on to the next step. There is it mounted and we have an even level there. And that's pretty much it. All we had to do was assemble the actual bracket by putting in these two screws. And then I just demonstrated how to find the stud, put the bolts, make your mark, put the bolts. And then also, if it gives you a hard time, how to use a socket set to basically get the screws all the way into the stud. Which will give you a fully secured bracket mounted on the wall. For the sake of this video, as you can see, we took the hardest step first, which was actually mounting the bracket on the wall. Now, the first step was to be to mount these two brackets onto the back of the TV. But I saved this for this part of the video so we can actually get the hardest part out the way first, which is mounting the bracket on the wall. And that's because this particular part of the video shows that we have multiple variety of different bolts. Now, you have to use your own judgment according to the type TV that you're going to mount to see which one of these bolts are going to fit the brackets onto the back of your TV. Now, these are pretty simple. So, they mount this way. And as you can see on the bottom there, it has these little pull tabs because this is how you release the TV. This may require two people because you're going to hook this part to the top of the bracket and then this part to the bottom of the bracket and it snaps on fairly easily. And this part is only for if you wanna release the TV. If you was to ever take it down off of the wall, you would have to pull on this tab here. It will release the bracket and you'll be able to lift up and lift it off of the actual bracket that's mounted to the wall. So for this part, I'm gonna show you how this will actually mount to the back of any TV using the variety of different ways, which we have spacers, we have bolts to give you the most secure fit to the back of the TV to mount the TV up onto the wall.
It's also worth mentioning that the level has a magnet on the bottom of it so that you can actually set this in multiple areas to get an accurate measurement on how level your mount is. So that's really unique that I can stick this down here and actually get an accurate level read on how straight my bracket is on the wall. You can see what I like about this particular mount kit that it comes with different bolt sizes and washers for you to mount the TV or the brackets to the TV. You have spacers here. And for this particular one, we're gonna go with these spacers with this washer here. And it's gonna look like this, all right? It's gonna look like this when you get done, which is very simple. I'm gonna show you how I'm gonna just mount this to the TV. And then we'll be able to hang the TV up onto the bracket. I take the spacer and I put the spacer against the TV and the bracket onto the back. So this one is in one, two, three, four, fifth hole. So we want to make sure that we put the spacer one, two, three, four, fifth hole on this one. We have the brackets on the back of the TV. The TV is ready to be mounted. Now, if you're not strong enough, of course, these TVs are pretty heavy. This part may require two people to help lift it onto the bracket on the wall. Notice how you have this bracket part here and it moves up and down. This is actually the tilt feature. So while it's hanging up on the wall and you tilt the TV in the position that you want it, this is how it actually tilts. And when you do that too, also to keep it from moving, you do have an alley key that you can stick here in the place to tighten down this particular screw once you have it in the position that you want. I hope this video was helpful. As you can see, we officially have the TV mounted on the wall. And this is one of the easiest mounts I could find it's not a very hard process at all. It has a very straightforward process. I would definitely leave a link to this particular mount down in the description below if you are interested. Hope this video was helpful. And once again, thank you for watching my videos. Until next time, see you in the next video.